Tonight, another college basketball program here in New Mexico is facing a lawsuit following allegations of sexual abuse from several Eastern New Mexico University players. Griffin Rustin read through this lawsuit. He sort of break down these disturbing allegations. Griffin? Yeah, this is a story we've unfortunately seen before. Three former women's basketball players at Eastern New Mexico are claiming the head coach's husband sexually assaulted them during what was supposed to be physical therapy and training sessions. The lawsuit details how those players tried going to higher ups for help, but instead faced retaliation in action and more abuse. We want to warn you, this may be disturbing and graphic for some. An opportunity at a prosperous future derailed by a pattern of abuse. That's what this new lawsuit alleges happened to at least three Eastern New Mexico University women's basketball players last fall. The lawsuit claims head coach Megan De Los Reyes forced the players to attend one-on-one -on -one treatment sessions with her husband, Glenn De Los Reyes, who the suit says is an unlicensed and unqualified athletic trainer. The players claim those treatments often resulted in sexual assault, with De Los Reyes reportedly fondling their genitals, pinning them down, and even leaving bruise marks. The lawsuit states the coach threatened the players with reduced playing time, which would impact their scholarships if they did not attend treatments with her husband. And she reportedly instructed the players to lie if asked about what happened during those treatments. The lawsuit details one incident where a player Player says she was instructed to go to the couple's home to retrieve her car keys confiscated by the coach. While there, the lawsuit alleges she was forced into a treatment with De Los Reyes, only later learning her car keys were in the coach's office on campus. According to the lawsuit, multiple university trainers approach athletics director and former UNM basketball coach Paul Weir about the abusive treatments. The suit states Weir met with De Los Reyes about the allegations, but the abuse reportedly continued. The lawsuit claims the player suffered retaliation from their coach after meeting with University HR, including calling one player's mother and suggesting another player was gay in front of the team because they didn't like the treatment. The lawsuit states Weir eventually met with the players and said he was sorry they were assaulted, but he reportedly threatened them not to sue their coach or her husband at risk of losing their scholarships. The lawsuit claims Weir and other university administrators knew about the allegations but did nothing to protect players from further abuse. The three players, all from out of state, were reportedly forced to finish the spring semester online and have transferred schools, damaging their academic and athletic careers. Among the allegations against the coach and her husband, the lawsuit argues the university was negligent and violated New Mexico's Human Rights Act as well as Title IX. The players are demanding a jury trial. The university released a statement saying in part it is carefully reviewing the allegations made in the lawsuit and will not provide a comment. However, it says the university will continue to strive toward providing a safe learning environment for its students, faculty, and staff. Last week, last week Eastern New Mexico Mexico State University announced coach Megan De Los Reyes will not be returning for the upcoming season after a review of the entire program. Earlier this month, two former New Mexico State University players filed their own lawsuit against NMSU coaches and several teammates. They claimed they were sexually assaulted by three other players multiple times throughout the most recent season, and former coaches Greg Heyer and Dominique Taylor did nothing about it. University leaders confirmed these alleged incidents are the reason they shut down the program back in February and in a statement released this week, university leaders say the alleged behavior has no place on NMSU's campus and the university is planning to launch a task force to implement preventative measures for any future incidents. In the meantime, the governor is now aiming to create anti-hazing legislation in the next legislative session. Tommy? A basketball season in New Mexico full of twists and turns. Griffin, thank you.